In this video, I will be making a game only using free assets inside of Unreal Engine 5. And if you don't already know, Epic Games gives away five free Unreal Engine Marketplace assets every single month. I already did a review video on these free asset packs, the link in the description. But basically, my goal is to try and make a game using these five free asset packs. And the rule is I can use any other assets as long as they are free. Also, I will be releasing a tutorial on how to create this game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on learning how to create this from scratch. So this month for free assets, we got the ultimate ship pack, this pirate ship with a bunch of props like cannon barrels, crates, etc. An art museum environment that has all these paintings, portraits, this corals foliage pack, a Venice environment, and this immersive template, which kind of has these weird animations. So yeah, the idea is I'm going to have to figure out what type of game I want to make based on all the stuff that we get here. And I'm leaning towards a pirate game because we have this free ultimate ship pack. Also, we have these corals but I mean those are the only two pirate related things we have this museum in Venice environment so I'm not really sure how I'm going to integrate that but we'll figure it out later so I came up with the idea of a third person pirate game basically a tower defense game where you have to defend your tower from enemy waves you have different things you can purchase at the beginning of the round to help defend the tower like say a turret and you have to survive all 10 waves so you can win the game now before we get into the video I want to really quickly tell you about my multiplayer survival game course there's over 50 plus hours of course content. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree rock or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you'll get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So the very first thing I had to do was find a character model for the main character. And so I found this free pirate character on the marketplace. And the rule is I can use any asset as long as it's free. So yeah, this is a pretty high quality character mesh. So all we have to do is find some animations. So at first I was looking at Mixamo since they have a bunch of free animations, but then I realized there is a free character that has loads of animations and he's holding a pistol in his hands. And so I was thinking I'm gonna use this little doubloon that the pirate gets and this will be sort of like this main weapon. So I took all these free pistol animations and set up a basic locomotion blend space for my character. So yeah, check this out. It kind of looks janky, but so I added the doubloon to his hand and also the ability to fire it real quick. And this actually looks hilarious. Just looks like he's drive by shooting this thing, but I'm just going to keep it all in. So yeah, we have the basic pirate logic. He can run around, he can shoot his little doubloon. Now we need to add some enemy AI so that we can fight it. So I downloaded this free Paragon character called Gideon. Basically he has this cool pirate skeleton skin and this looks absolutely goaded i mean this reminds me of the skeleton smoking a cigarette meme as somehow this enemy skeleton looks way cooler than the actual main character you play as but i got him imported into the engine and i set up some basic animations on the skeleton so we have him walking around here in the scene all i really need to do is set up a damage system so i can shoot him with my doubloon and actually apply damage so for that i set up a very simple line trace logic to apply damage to the skeleton and i also set up a ragdoll event when the skeleton's health hits zero, the mesh will ragdoll. Bro, his character just exploded. Wait, he's spinning now, dude. He's taking off. Look at this guy. He's just dancing on the floor. I honestly had no idea that they would explode into pieces when I set up Ragdoll. I guess the character model is just set up that way. But I'm going to keep that in because it kind of looks cool when you shoot them and they explode into pieces. Okay, so next up, I need some more assets because this is basically a tower defense game. And I need a tower for the skeletons to actually run and attack. So I got this free pirate styled buildings from Kitbash 3D. They have this free app called cargo and they have some free assets that you can use on there so i downloaded this and added it to my project and i created the tower that the enemy has attacked so really all that was left was to program the skeleton's attack behavior there's storm in the keep wait what's this guy doing okay now, now he's going 
So right now they don't really attack. They just run up to the tower and kind of look at it. So after a while, I set up the attack behavior. So now they can actually run up, attack the player as well. And I also added health bars above the skeleton. So you can see how much health they have, as well as how much health the tower has left. And the skeletons can actually damage it and destroy it. Basically how the behavior works is that the skeletons will attack the tower. But if they see the player, they will have a certain percent chance of chasing and attacking the player rather than going after the objective. But now we just need some waves of logic so that these skeletons will spawn in by different waves. So I added some widgets to showcase the current wave, how many skeletons were left in the level so that the player knows how many they have to eliminate to get to the next wave. And before every single round starts, you have about 30 seconds to buy items. So I added a buy menu with two different items that the player can purchase. So first up, we have this cannon turret and this explosive barrel. So they cost a certain amount of coins and to collect these coins, basically when you kill a skeleton, it has a chance of dropping a chest of gold coins. Now I actually haven't set up the cannon turret logic. Basically this item is a turret, much like you see in any sort of tower defense game, but instead of firing bullets, it shoots cannonballs. And this thing is actually so cool. It just auto locks onto these guys and annihilates the skeleton. And I know there aren't any explosions when you actually shoot a cannonball, but I added it in anyways because it looks cool. I also added this explosive barrel item, which the player can also purchase as an item, place it down. And if you shoot it, it sort of does this AOE damage effect. So all you really have to do is place one of these at the choke point and you can pretty much eliminate half of the enemy wave. So yeah, we have all of the basic gameplay set up and it looks pretty good. I mean, I absolutely love the way that the cannon turrets turned out. So now all that is left to do is to create a map for all this. So I created this landscape here and added this ocean using the built-in water plugin inside of Unreal Engine 5. And I added these little islands around the main area. So the idea is the skeletons will spawn on these other islands and they'll run to the main island where the player and the tower will be located. And I started adding in all of the free assets that we got from this month, things like the pirate ship from the ultimate ship pack, added in this little shipwreck area so it looks like it's washed up on the beach. I also created this landscape material here using some of the free textures from Quixel Bridge. So we have this nice sand material. And using the free corals pack that we got this month, I painted some nice corals here in the water in between all the little islands. And then of course I added in some of the different props on the beach, things like the barrels, the crates, all the stuff like that. Also painting some of the rocks from the coral packs. Now I had a hard time trying to figure out how to integrate the stuff from like the Venice pack. So I thought about using some of the trees from there, but it just looked off. So I just scrapped the idea entirely. As for things like the museum pack, I honestly didn't know what to use from that. So I placed in some of the sculptures from the museum as sort of like these ruins in the water. I don't know, it kind of looks cool, but like I said, I didn't really know how to integrate some of the other assets. So with the map complete, that was pretty much it. So here are some of the actual gameplay. Okay, so the first wave is pretty much the easiest. I mean, you just start out with four different skeletons. So let's go ahead and take this guy out real quick. And he dropped this chest. So let's go ahead and pick that up. It's about 25 coins per chest that you pick up. Let's go ahead and pick these other guys off. So the first wave is pretty easy. Also, I added it so you start off with 100 coins at the start of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this cannon turret and maybe we'll place it right over here. Basically, you have about you know 30 seconds before the round starts, so I'll go ahead and buy an explosive barrel. Maybe I'll place it right at the choke point, so right in front of the ramp here. And I might even place another one just right there. Okay, so we have eight skeletons that spawn in. I'm going to try and bait them to the explosive barrel, so we'll just wait till they walk by this. Boom! So you can see it took out a bunch of guys, dropped so many different crates. I need to try and get that real quick, so go ahead and pick up these coins. And you can see if you just set it up so that you place explosive barrels at the choke points, pretty much take out the entire enemy wave. So I'm just going to go ahead and place another one of these barrels here. Maybe we can get another turret set up, but... I don't have enough coins, so maybe I'll try and place one at the spawn point over here. Okay, so wave starting in one second. Okay, so try and shoot this. Oh, I completely missed on that shot. Got some more skeletons running up here. Dude, the turret is putting in the work, though. It's actually shredding these guys. Unfortunately, you can't really aim, though, when the skeletons get up the ramp, so I have to place a turret probably up here. So let me go ahead and place one up here. This one can actually shoot backwards, so should be able to reach that far let's go place a couple more of these barrels down but if we just time it right and place it down here at the choke point okay so we got a couple of different skeletons 15 total go ahead and shoot them oh dude they just snuck up on me i didn't even realize it i didn't even see them and there's cannonballs being fired off it's not looking good right now our keep is taking a bunch of damage I have to try and pick these guys off. Oh, our cannon actually saved us there. We have really low health, but our keep is actually taking a bunch of damage. So I'm going to try and 
pick these guys off. Dude, we just barely made it out of there alive. I haven't set up any way to regen your health, so you can't really regen health. Let me go ahead and place a turret on this little crate here. But yeah, there's no health regeneration for the player or for the or for the tower, so if you die, you pretty much can't respawn. So let me go ahead and place a couple more barrels. We're on wave five right now, so got 20 different skeletons left. Go ahead and pick these guys off. Shoot the barrel there. Oh god, dude, I forget that there's another ramp that can just climb up. I think this might be game over right here. We need to go ahead and just try and pick these other guys off. But there's just way too many skeletons and not enough choke points. Let's go ahead and try and get these guys right here. The cannon, if the cannon does splash damage right there, it could get like a pentakill. There's actually so many chests right here. Okay, so we just got 100 coins from that. The crates actually despawn after about, I think, 15 seconds. So you have to pick them up fast. But go ahead and buy another turret and probably place it. Not sure where to place this. Maybe we'll just place it. We kind of need one facing the other ramp. But I think I'll just place it right here in the center. Wait, it just bugged down and won't let me place it. Huh, that's weird. Okay, so I have to take care of this other ramp. There's a bunch that spawn on this left side. So if I can clear this off real quick, pick up these crates. Oh God, oh God, dude, we're getting stormed. All right, that's pretty much over here. There's a bunch of skeletons. Our keep is out of health. I haven't even programmed in a lose screen. So technically, there's technically no lose or win screen. So, so in reality, there is no way to win or lose the game. So yeah, that is the one game with free assets inside of Unreal Engine 5. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Maybe if you guys have any suggestions on how to integrate some of the other packs into this game, let me know in the comments. And also I'll be releasing a tutorial on how to create this game from scratch. So make sure you subscribe for that. You don't want to miss out on that video. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Should I do this challenge every single month when we get our five free asset packs? Let me know down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.